Howdy folks, how's it going? Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen, it's Barry here and today's recipe request comes from me. I just thought I'd show you guys a recipe I want to do for a change. It's a creamy Cajun chicken penne pasta dish and you are going to absolutely love it. It will blow your mind. Good times. Looks amazing, right? And what I love about this dish is ultimately it's so easy. It's easier than one plus one. But it's flexible, it's fun and quick and simple. All that stuff, as I say, you're gonna love it. And if you're in a weeknight hurry and you want something to make, this will be perfect for you. So if you wanna have a look at making this hip pause on a video, what am I doing with my arms? I don't know, hip pause on a video. Now, write them all down. This is how you do it. First up, we'll place our chicken breast between two pieces of baking parchment and then bash it with our rolling pin to get it nice and even. Then you wanna work your ground cumin into the chicken on both sides, rubbing it and working it in really well. Oof, don't get too carried away when you're rubbing the cumin into your breast. This isn't the film Ghost, you know. Next up, we'll cook our pasta. Now I'm using penne and it's fresh pasta, so it cooks super speedy quick. It tastes amazing. It's like the best invention in the world ever, unless you make your own pasta from scratch. Just cook it according to package instructions, whatever pasta you're using, good times. Meanwhile, get a griddle pan nice and hot and lay down your chicken. You want to cook that for a good five minutes either side before leaving it to rest on a plate. With your pasta cooked, drain it off, then go back to the pan you cook the pasta in and add in under a low flame your cream, parmesan, salt, onion powder, pepper, cumin, lemon zest and parsley. You wanna bring this to a simmer, mixing it all together and tweak it to your liking. Now this is your opportunity to really customize that sauce in there. So if you wanna give it a bit more zing, add some more lemon in there, a little bit more pepper or cumin to give it that bit more spank, whatever you wanna do. Ultimately, it's you that's gotta eat it, so make sure you're happy with it, yeah? Whilst you're waiting, slice up your chicken breasts, and then once the cream starts to bubble, tip in your drained off pasta and stir it through with a spatula to coat it and warm it through. Now we use a spatula rather than a wooden spoon on the pasta because it's a bit more flexible and sort of cares for the pasta more than a hard wooden spoon. It could break it and damage it. So love your pasta with a spatula and it will love you back. Once it's ready, serve your pasta up with some of your chicken strips, some diced tomatoes, avocado, some extra parmesan and parsley, and a squidge of lemon on top to freshen it up. And that is looking amazing. Shabba dabba ding dong guys, this tastes amazing. You've got that real freshness of the avocado, tomato and lemon working its way through it, and that kick of the cumin edge right on these chicken pieces, which are so tender and juicy, and I'm loving it. I feel like I'm tap dancing. I'm like tap dancing in my kitchen. I don't know how to tap dance, but if you have a go at making this, please let me know how you get on. Send me a picture on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook at My Virgin Kitchen. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, mm. and I'll see you again next time. This is good. 